One of the most useful tools I've come across while using PowerPoint is the Merge Shapes tool. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the union and subtraction functions of this tool to create any shape you can think of. Here's a flyer I made recently using PowerPoint to advertise PEI's Office 365 services. You can see I have two non-standard shapes, the one containing the featured image at the top and the orange shape containing text at the bottom. I'm going to use this window as a workspace to recreate the image from the top of my flyer. To start, use as many shapes as you need to create your desired shape. For time purposes, I have these triangles made already. I found it's easiest to work with shapes that have the same formatting, but you don't have to. If you're using shapes with different formats, the style of the shape you select first in the next step will be applied to the entire shape once it's merged. Select all the shapes you've used, navigate to the format pane of the ribbon and choose Merge Shapes on the left. Then select Union to combine your shapes into one single entity. Now we can apply any formatting to the shape and it will affect it uniformly. In this case, I've filled the shape with a picture. If your Format Shape pane has not appeared on the right, you can find it by right-clicking and choosing Format Shape. I'm going to select Picture or Texture Fill. I want to fill the shape with this image, so I'm going to add it to my clipboard so that I can use the clipboard option here. If your shape is upside down, unselect Rotate with Shape to correct it. If your picture looks distorted inside your shape, you can fix it by choosing Format under the Picture Tools and clicking Crop. This will show you the hidden edges of your shape, so you can drag it if you need to fix the proportion. You'll notice that this photo actually extends to fill the two triangles next to it. This is because I've merged these two triangles with the shape I've just made. I'm going to use these two triangles I've made already in the interest of time. Then I can put them where I want them and select all the shapes I'd like to merge. If you select the shape you filled already with your image, you won't have to refill the image into the shape once your shapes are merged together. Then we can find the Merge Shapes option and select Union. You can see that the photo now extends to fill these two triangles. To produce my final effect, I've used copies of these triangles, made them orange, and then also made them transparent. I cannot merge these orange triangles with my photo filled shape because then they won't be able to have their separate formatting. Now, one edge of this triangle is hanging off the edge of my page, and I don't like the way that looks. We can actually use the Merge Shapes tool to fix this problem as well. You can use any shape to cover the part that you want to disappear. I like to use rectangles to keep my edges straight. Then select both shapes. Make sure you select the shape you'd like to keep first, and then select the Merge Shapes option again. This time, select the Subtract option. Now we can see that the edge of the orange triangle that was hanging off of the page is gone. And of course, because I cannot merge my orange shape with my photo filled shape, I'll have to do the same again for my photo filled shape. Now it looks like my photo's gotten a little distorted, so I'll go over to the Format pane of the Picture Tools menu, select Crop, and then drag my edges so that it looks how I want. That's how you can use the Union and Subtraction functions of the Merge tool with Microsoft PowerPoint and Office 365.